Ask JetBrains AI Assistant questions about your project, like where a specific method or query is, or add information to the context for better results, or save a prompt so you can reuse it in the future. Let me show you seven things you might not know about using AI Assistant Chat. The AI Assistant Chat window does not have a shortcut. You could add a custom shortcut to the AI Assistant window if you want, or you can open the AI Assistant Chat window, like any window, from recent files. This pop-up is searchable, so you can quickly find and open the AI Assistant window. We work hard to integrate AI Assistant into the IDE to help support your developer workflow. You can ask AI Assistant questions about your project, and AI Assistant can call back to the IDE to answer them for you. For example, you can ask where to find specific SQL or where to find a particular method. You can also ask questions about version control history and specific commits. AI Assistant can attach relevant code snippets and files to your prompt. When you ask a question about a piece of selected code from the editor, AI Assistant will copy the relevant code into the prompt and use it to get the answer to your question. You can also see which other files, if any, have been included in the context. AI Assistant also has access to information about your project. To see the background information that AI Assistant has added to the context, you can ask for a dump of the chat. In the text file containing your prompt history, the context provided by AI Assistant is at the top of the file. Adding to the context makes AI Assistant even smarter. You can also explicitly add to the context by tagging files, symbols, and even database schemas. For example, we can ask AI Assistant to explain a file to us. There are a bunch of other shortcuts as well, so you can attach the current file, other files, a list of local changes that you haven't committed yet. Or we can include a database schema to help generate test data. When asking questions in chat, you can continue a conversation. It often helps to start off with a more general question and gradually refine the results with more details. For example, you can ask AI Assistant for refactoring suggestions. You can either apply the results if you're happy with them or refine them as needed by asking more detailed questions about specific suggestions and then applying the result of those specific suggestions individually. We can ask additional questions to fine-tune our results or guide them in the direction we want. Instead of asking additional questions, we can also edit our original prompt. For example, if we'd like to use a different programming language. If you're going to ask a question on a new, different topic, it can help to start a new chat. That way, you start with a fresh context instead of including the previous context and questions. What if you find a prompt that works well that you'd like to reuse? You can save a prompt so you can use it again in the future. You can specify how the prompt should be used and where it should be available. By default, the prompt will be added to the AI Actions menu in the editor, so you can easily use it while working with code. Once you save it, your prompt will be available for you to use. For example, from the chat window, you can manage prompts in the prompt library in the settings. You can also add new prompts here or delete the ones you no longer need. What if English is not your first or preferred language? You can configure AI Assistant to use a different language for the chat. For example, to set it to your first language, which would be Dutch in my case, your preferred language might be different. From now on, all conversations with AI Assistant will be in Dutch or whatever language you prefer. But how would you find all of these helpful features? Other than watching these videos, of course. Did you know that you can discover AI features from the AI Assistant chat window? Use Discover Features to get an overview of AI Assistant features, including examples of how to get the best out of AI Assistant. For example, how to change the default prompt for commit message generation, or how to quickly explain a runtime error. Now you can learn all about AI Assistant features just like you can learn IDE features in your IDE. Hopefully you learned something you didn't know about using AI Assistant in the chat window. Let me know in the comments. To learn how AI Assistant can help you with version control, watch this video next.